In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make really, really cool, modern looking buttons in TK Inter for your Python GUI applications. So, first of all, let's import TK Inter as TK. Perfect. Then we're gonna create the root window, so tk.tk. .tk. And then I want this to be 350 by 300, like that. And then I don't want this to be resizable, so I'm gonna set the with false height false as well. Then here I'm gonna have four variables with the colors that I'm gonna use so you can actually change them with your own colors. So color one, zero to zero, F12. Now let's do this, so two, three, four, like that. So this is going to be zero five D seven FF then 65 e7ff and then this easy black like that perfect then we can create a main frame so tk frame like that the parent is the root and then the background color is the color one like that and then a padding pad y 40. then i'm gonna place this in the window so fill TK both like that and then expand true like that and then we need to configure the columns actually the column because we're just gonna have one so zero weight one so it stretches horizontally then the main frame row configure and then we are gonna have we're gonna have two rows so we'll configure one so the second row perfect and now we can actually create the button so button one is equal to tk button and then the parent is going to be the main frame of course the background color is the color two in this case and this is the background when you don't hover over it so the color four is the foreground which is the color of the text basically the active background is color three okay and this is basically the background and the foreground when you hover over the button so when the button is basically active then you've got highlight thickness and i'm gonna give it two pixels and then here you've got two possible colors so you've got the highlight background which is basically the color of the highlight around the button when the button doesn't have focus and i want this to be color two so you don't see anything and then you've got the highlight color and this color is basically the one that will be used when the button has focus, which is basically when you switch from one widget to the other using the tab key. And I want to set this to white, like that. Then the width, 13. Then the height, I'm going to give it a height of 2, because these are not pixels, they are the characters or the lines. Height 2 basically means 2 lines, and width 13 means 13 characters something like that then the border zero i don't want it the cursor hand one because i want this to be like sort of oh i can click on this then the text is going to be login like that and then the font like that as i always say you can do whatever you want with these parameters I just chosen to, to do something like that, but you can change the font and whatever, the colors, the reset, etc. Now, we've got a button, so we need to actually place it in the frame. So we're going to use grid, and it's going to be the first column. Of course, we just have one, and then the first row. Perfect. And of course, we need to start the main loop, otherwise we are not going to see anything. So let's see what we've done so far. So let's do this. As you can see, this looks already pretty good. And you can see around this here, you've got this little sort of border. This is the highlight. And as I said, this is fine when you don't hover over it because this is the same as the background. But when you change the color, the active color, you see that. But you cannot do this with the parameters because you don't have an active highlight background. So we're going to do that in a different way later on. If you hit the tab, you can see the active color. So I'm going to hit tab. As you can see, this is 
active. This will jump from one button to the other when you hit tab, basically. So let's actually add the button two right now. And we're just going to actually copy this and change a few things. So let's do this like that. So button two, we're going to change the color and the other color like that. Also here, sign up of course, and then button two here. Okay, and then row, perfect. So let's run it now and see what we actually get. As you can see, you get this thing here. Let's actually have something white behind. So as you can see now, you can see that better. And these are really, really modern looking buttons. As you can see, when you hover over it, you've got this effect, as you can see. And let's see actually by hitting tab. So now this has the focus and then this one jumps from one to the other. Really, really nice. So now, as I said, let's see how you can change parameters when you hover over the buttons. By the way, I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a like and also hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss future videos like this one. As I was saying, the parameters that we can actually enter when creating the buttons are limited and we only have a few things that will change when we have our the button, like the active color, for example, active background, active foreground, etc. So to change other parameters like the highlight background, because we don't have an active highlight background, we need to actually use events. Okay. And that's what we are going to do now. So let's close this right now. So first of all, I'm going to define a function, which is called BT1 enter event, I need to pass the event because basically when you bind a function to an event, tkinter will basically pass an event to the function. And if you don't write this, even if you don't actually need it, you will get something like zero arguments expected, one given, something like that. So you just need to do that. And then we're going to do something like button one, config. And when we this is when we actually enter, when we hover over the button. So we want the color to change to the color three. Then down here, we are going to do something like leave. Okay. When you are not hovering over the button anymore, I want this to be color two like that. So we want this to go back to normal. And then the same thing for the button two so button two here and then button two here of course we need to change button two here as well because otherwise we're not gonna get the result that we want okay so something like that and of course we need to bind those functions to the events so button one bind and we're gonna bind this to the enter event we're gonna bind the button one enter and then leave button one leave like that and then we are going to do the same exact thing for the button two so button two button two and of course button two enter and button two leave so let's actually see if that works as expected so let's actually add a white background so you can see that better okay so as you can see now you don't have that highlight around the button as you can see, you don't have that. And if we were to change that to, so to actually see the, the change red, for example, you'll see that you get red, red, as you can see, you get red. Okay. So this is just to, to show you that something is actually happening. Okay. So let's go back to color three like that. Perfect. Okay, so now if you want to learn even more about Python and TKinter, I highly recommend you go and watch the video you see on the screen. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.